Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to solve the same problem, finding the second moment of area, but not with respect to the x-axis, instead of with respect to the y-axis. So here we now have our area element, which has width from 0 to x and height dy, so our dA is x dy. The equation still is y equals kx squared, and when y equals h, x equals w, so we can solve for k in terms of h and w. And our equation now is going to look like this. The second moment of area with respect to the x-axis is the double integral of y squared dA. Now this is, going to this is going to become a single integral. We're not going to have to integrate over two, uh, two variables. So this is now going to look as follows. The integral of y squared times dA, which is x dy. And notice, of course, we have an x and a dy there, so we need to get rid of the x. We can solve for x in terms of y and k, so that means that x squared is equal to y divided by k, or x is equal to y to the one-half power divided by k to the one-half power. And that can be substituted in here, and the integrals, the integral is going to be from x, or from y equals 0 to y equals h. So we're integrating from 0 to h. And this becomes equal to the integral from 0 to h of y squared times y to the 1 half power divided by k to the 1 half power times dy. We can take k to the 1 half power out, and this can then be simplified to the integral of y to the 5 halves dy, and we'll write 1 over k to the 1 half outside the integral sign integrating from 0 to h. And that's a fairly easy integral, so that becomes 1 over k to the 1 half times y to the 7 halves power divided by 7 over 2, evaluated from 0 to h. And this can then be written as 2 over 7 times 1 over k to the 1 half power times y to the 7 halves power evaluated from 0 to h. And then we plug in the upper limit, we get the following. This is 2 over 7. What about k to the 1 half power? Let's see here. We have k is equal to h divided by w squared. That means that k to the 1 half power would be equal to h to the 1 half power divided by w. So we can also make that replacement. And since it's a denominator, we can basically just flip it over and this can then be written as 2 over 7 times the inverse of that, which is w divided by h to the 1 half. And then here we get y to the, oh, not y, because we just substitute it. So this becomes h, when we substitute in the h, h to the 7 1 half power. Now we have h to the 7 1 half divided by h to the 1 half, so we subtract the 1 half from that. So this gives us 2 sevenths times w h to the third power. And this here is the second moment of area of that particular area right there with respect to the x-axis, i sub x. And let's go ahead and place that up on the right, upper right corner of the board. i sub x is equal to 2 sevenths h, well, h cubed, W. So notice the difference in the answers. Here we have W cubed for, with respect to the y-axis because it depends how far things are away from the y-axis in this direction. So we have a W cubed. In the case of being with respect to the x-axis, we care about how far the area is away from the x-axis. That would be in the h direction. That's why we have an h cubed in the answer there. So in the next video, we're going to calculate the second moment of area with respect to the origin you'll see what that ends up being. So stay tuned.